a world of tanks where players don't suck, it's the perfect utopia. Unfortunately, that's not Blitz, and it never will be Blitz. Players suck a lot. And unfortunately, we get those really, really sucky players on our teams non-stop every single game. Sometimes the enemy teams suck more, sometimes my teams suck more. It's all about who sucks the most. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about who is doing the most sucking in World of Tanks' worst teams. I have not done one of these in a while, and I'm quite depressed on the team I got, but quite excited to show you possibly one of the worst two players I've ever seen in this game. So buckle your seatbelts in, get ready for one rocky ride, because we're going to be getting straight into it. Now, if you enjoy today's type of content and you would like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. Helps at the channel a crazy, crazy amount. Now, one thing I want to point out about my worst team episodes is that if you are called out as a bad player, you deserve it. There is no reason why you should talk this bad. So uh, we got the player 127 block blah 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 on the VK100 next to us. Oh wait until you see him suck. And we also have our IS3 defender, King of the something. You are gonna see these two players be possibly the worst players in Blitz. Either way, I'm gonna drive my way with the VK168 over to base C. We're gonna capture that couch because I am playing in Supremacy. This is probably one of the worst tanks to play in Supremacy in. It's slow and yeah, that, that's really about it. Slow tanks are not great in Supremacy because obviously when you are capturing the base, the other tanks are probably gonna beat you there. Vehicles like the enemy Chimera, Sinjarian, Tiger 1, Tiger P. But looking at the enemy lineup, it's not too bad. They got the Tiger 1, they got the Tiger P, and they do have a VK-168 as well. You'll notice that I'm driving up into position. Nobody's captured base B yet. So at this moment, I'm thinking, okay, if there's nobody at base B, then most likely they have pushed towards where the enemy reds are spotted so far over towards D. However, in a moment, you're going to start seeing, yeah, base A being captured. And I have no clue what's capturing it, but I'm guessing it's some sort of mobile vehicle because why else would you drive there? I'm actually not sure what captured it. I'm thinking maybe the... I don't even know, honestly. Maybe the T-32, I think, got there. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start driving into the enemy position, taking the quickest route possible. We have the Tiger P, and one great thing about the VK-168 is the alpha damage. While this vehicle is kind of useless in a lot of scenarios, bad players really, really struggle to take out the 168. And yeah, this Tiger P, oh yeah, this, this guy is definitely not the best player. Now, you might be wondering, where are the bad players? Well... Technically, this Tiger P does count as a really bad player, but you'll see them in a moment. It's really when I die, that is when you get to watch the crispy, clean Rice Krispie treat of gameplay. So right now, I'm just bullying this poor Tiger P. I'm trying to be careful because obviously I need to clear this guy while also not being shot by the enemy. So we managed to juke that shell from the VK-168. And again, we're doing pretty good here. I mean, I've lost literally no hit points so far. And there you go, we tapped the Tiger P, finishing him off with a pretty nice ram. So now we're going to aim in a shell on the lower plates of that VK-168. Kind of rhymes there. I did over-angle the sides just a tad bit. I'm so used to the VK-100 that the sides in this tank are kind of doo-doo in comparison. Going to make sure that I ram him correctly. There you go. We get a little bit of extra ramming damage. But right now, I'm trying to think, okay, what do I want to do? Well, we're just going to load premium ammunition. It's much smarter for me to load premium than to try and risk it at the cupola. I was actually kind of annoyed, though. I think that my vehicle, because I'm on the slanted terrain, it's much harder for me to hit his weak spot than it is for me or him to hit mine. But either way, we're just going to tap him again. But he is running adrenaline, which is a big disadvantage for me. The longer your reload is, the better adrenaline makes it because it's like a 20% flat buff. It's a huge buff. So I gotta be careful. But again, I'm gonna load in a premium shell and there you go. Nice tap into the enemy VK168. And uh-oh, now we got a T32. Please bounce me. Please bounce. Uh, oh, I'm trying so hard. You do not know how hard I'm trying to bounce it. But because I have adrenaline on, guess what, dude? I out-reload you. So now we have the T32. And I'm trying to think, okay, what do I want to do here? I'm trying to stop him, but oh, he tracks me. If he hadn't have tracked me accidentally, we might have actually survived. But you're going to notice that he's just able to get the reload on me and finish me off. So now here comes the fun, ladies and gentlemen. We have left Mr. VK100 and as well the IS3 Defender. So how about we watch the VK100? Now this guy, he's got the stock gun. That's already um, bad news. And, well, let's watch him. Come on, he's got the Tiger 1, he's got the T-32. What is he going to do? The world may never know. Well, um, 
I don't actually know what he's going to do. We can look at the IS3 Defender as well. Th this guy's quite exciting. You know, he's just, um, he's chilling, you know, you know, using the dead VKs over here. Uh, how about we take a look again at the, uh, the VK100. He's waiting for the Tiger. Boom! Massive shell into him. But then he gets shot in the rear by the T32. But shall he react? No. Let's not move. Let's not rush the Tiger 1. Why would I do that? I'm going to let the T32 shoot me in the rear again. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm doing great. So this guy, he has decided to finally move. But instead of moving towards the tiger, what he's instead doing is driving his tank. What? What is this guy doing? I am so confused. Then we got our IS-3 defender who you just watched missed a shell on the T-32. Completely front on. So let's watch this guy. All right, I believe in you, dude. You're going to do it. Come on, show me the money. Show me the money. King of the monsters. You got it. You, you got it. Oh yeah, 117 damage, and while that's going on, our VK100 has managed to die to a tier 7 heavy. I even said, you suck in the chat. That is how bad this team was. Oh man, this, this was not a fun team. But don't worry, this IS3 defender, he's gonna get him. Here he goes, turning his turret, and oh, oh, he's gonna get him. Oh, oh, that was a really close shot, dude. Maybe next time, you will get him. Welcome to World of Tank Split's Worst Teams. These two guys here have got to be some of the worst players I've ever seen in this game. I was able to do 4,000 damage in my short life. And in that amount of time, my IS3 Defender did 976, and the VK100 did 891. This guy has a 43% win rate and averages 542 damage a game. Oh my god, he's just bad. And then we make our way over to, how about the IS3 Defender? This guy has 10,000 games with 688 average damage. How about we take a look at this guy's statistics? Oh, that's the wrong click. Oh boy, 35% of his AMX M4. Wouldn't you love to get that guy on your team? Or how about the 216 battles on his IS7 with 44%? And he's penning two and a half shells. Ah, this game, it is a... Uh... It's a very feisty one, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how players do this bad at the game, but um, yeah, th these two players win a very, very sturdy award of the worst players in World of Tanks. Blitz, 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 blitz. I mean, I've seen a lot of bad players over the years, and there are definitely players that I've seen worse, 30%, even 20% win rate players. But at least those guys have the common decency of dying at the beginning, so I don't have to watch them die throughout the battle. That was literally like watching the Roman Empire just fall apart all in one time period. It was the saddest thing ever. Either way, hopefully all of you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like this, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But yeah, this isn't the World of Tanks worst team. This is the World of Tanks worst duo of players. Hopefully you'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.